Ark Survival Evolved. A game where you survive amongst the prehistoric dinos, mammals, and robots? Anyways, you tame these creatures and explore the vast and beautiful land. Genesis 2 is the last DLC that wraps up the entire Ark story. I did 100 days of this with a friend named Swarks. Also, thanks to my guy Luke the Notable for coming up with this, and thanks to the other Ark 100 Days creators. Now that that's out of the way, let's start. Also, please subscribe, this video took way too long. And also, comment down below what day was your favorite day. It would be really fun to know. Like, right, ah, day 30, that was a fun day. Taming those two dinos, that was pretty hard. Nice, yeah, le leave something like that, would, would make me pretty happy to read through that. And subscribe to Swarks, the guy that helped me with these 100 days. Okay, let's go! Also, this is the first time I'm doing a voiceover like this. So if you have any tips, leave them in the comments below. Your armor kept you mostly in one piece. So, quick update. This isn't a simulation. We're really on a ginormous spaceship. And the ship's being taken over by... <laughs> now what are you two little gnats up to? This is to be mine. The first okay, time to get away from all these tentacles and prying eyes. This might feel a bit weird. Day one. After spawning in, I was welcomed by a group of compies waiting to attack. Those little annoying rats. This is the animation. Oh my die. god, bro, these, these damn combis. Enough of this. Let's start. I quickly met up with Swarks to create our tribe and started getting resources. I was very surprised to see how busted the tech punch is. Did they make it back that you can... Wait a sec. Yeah. They did it back! <laughs> After hitting some stuff, I crafted some basic items and decided where we should build our base. Right here. Day 2. We started this day off by setting up a little starter base with two forges. A smithy and a campfire. Swarks grinded up some stuff and I went looking for drops. Because if there's one thing you need to know about the Genesis drops, just remember this quote. Metal for days. I actually got a tech trough, and when I demolished it, we indeed got metal for days. Day 3 was the same. Since we got so rich of one hole, I tried looting some more. I was not expecting to almost die that day. Oh, hello, direwolf. You want a piece of me? Come and get me. Yeah. Hello? Do don't they want to hunt me? Google something. I got injured again. But I kept looting and when I returned I discovered Swarks did some good base improvements. Thanks man. On this day we also prepared to tame a snow owl. And on day 4 we did that. Oh, that was close. <gasps> close, close, close. It's trapped! It's, it's in? It's trapped, it's trapped. Yes! It's <laughs> well done Swarks! <gasps> Swarks, you absolute legend! Don't die, please don't die. It's like one or two It's knocked! No, it's not knocked. It's knocked! Look, unconscious! When it woke up, I called her Sonic and got her to the little base. Then we both realized that our scrawny crafting station wouldn't last for this entire playthrough. So day 5 we started off by getting narco berries with a whip to craft narcotics. And while Swarks got thatch and wood, I took Sonic to kill some alphas. That's like... Ooh, alpha rare. Raptor! The first one! Yeah, good luck dying. I have, I have Sonic with me, the oil. Yo, wait, do tech raptors uh, get reduced damage? No, that's like the main buff. 
Okay, snow owls are really OP for killing this. Jump pad and a lot of spark power. Ah! Some, some my snow owl is a little bit low HP. Let's just completely heal it up. Because, like, that's, that's completely unintentional. Mm, it's yeah. not like we ran into a Prolovia or a Micro Raptor mine. Because that, that is intentional. But... Hey! I killed it! As I flew to base on day 6, I found a very high level gas bags that we decided to tame. And on day 8, we were ready. I came up with a new taming method never seen before. I called it the Chill bro, have some drugs. Actually, don't do drugs kids. It's bad. So the plan was, hey, you're just going to freeze it over and over and over again. While the I, from a vault, so um, like, knock it down because, like, we're definitely faster. See? Uh, and um... it doesn't lose HP. And its gas is now out, so it can only run away. Get back here! Snipe! Oh, perfect. Perfect. Like, right before Not it went to go away. Yeah. Get over here! Oh, Pegos. A Pego stole your Trank arrows! No! This Pego stole all of our Tranks. D do you have... Killed. Yeah, I got the Trank. I got the Tranks. I take them, okay. And... There we go. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! While waiting for the gas bags to wake up, I started building the base late until day 9. Okay. Got it on? Yeah. Got it all? Didn't start. I didn't really get too many stuff. Got stones. all of it. Oh my god! 3,000 weight! Okay. Big thanks to Swax for grinding all of this. No. We need vegetables. Yeah! I think the props row as the snow that next time we stop the server. No. We... I know too Wait much a about it. Day 10 and the gas bags finally awoke. We named him Fluffy. Yeah, I'm not hey, good with names. Strange. Okay, so Fluffy. 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 Okay, Fluffy. Anyways, while I was at Fluffy, Swarks was taming some dirty, so I came to help him. Hey, now stop, stop. Cute! What's the problem, South? I don't know. Bro, I don't. I don't I Upper or no. lower part? Art. Lower, lower either. Oh, okay. You can just track the Dodic guy and just knock it out. Oh, nice. Like, when you get like the. Drop over here. Why did. On day one. Better than my flag. Okay, now that's actually like really nice. Look, the other Dodie is knocked out. Hey. While doing this, Ark got an update and G port is shut down. After logging back on, the Alpha Raptor pack spawned near the high level duty, which we dealt with by heating them off with the gas bags. Unluckily, this also heated the duty. Use the Bye, gas bag back to light. We managed to kill everything, and on day 11 and 12, the duties awoke and we got them to base. The next day we prepared for a big loot hole in Rockwell's garden to get fungal wood and light pets. So days 13 to 14 we got the materials. Put all the fungal wood inside of him. Let's just get what we wanted, fungal wood and light pets. Let's not get distracted by the other things. That will only get us killed.
Then before we went to base, we decided to tame the light pets. So on day 15 we got two shine horns and a feather light. So they're obviously a uh, out of... Oh, holy! Okay, now the base building to day 20 was pretty boring, so I cut it out. Else this video would have taken hours. So anyways, this is the end product. For now. So, um, activate preview. Noise. Like, and when I press that, the little screen goes away. Ah. Well, my preview works a little bit differently. Moving on to day 21, where this happened. From 1000 hexagons. Obsidian? Ah! I can just buy obsidian this way. No, oh, buy um, ingram points. True. I can easily find obsidian. Thank you. Yeah, I bought ingram points. What? Ingram points too? It's a scam! Wait, it doesn't give you 20? I didn't get anything. Yeah, I got scammed. You ever get scammed in Ark? Give my points back, Helena. The next day was spent looking for a high level Allosaurus pair. And on day 22, I found a level 140. No, I didn't. Because I. Oh, 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 oh my god, I found a 140 and a 135 next to each other. Um, Same? Or. Yeah. That, by the time Swarx came over, trapped itself. And of course, we tamed it. For sure. Yeah, like that mountain, I guess. Let's go. What? We're already at 2000 Torpor? Your long neck is OP, brother. Yeah, but, um. I only have five shots left. That's still good. Let's go! We're ah. the lowest team. Hey! Let's go! After logging out that day, the server stayed open, so we reset it to day 24. Anyways, the next day we found a 130 allo, and by the power of the net gun and my supreme trapping skills, it got trapped. And I'm going to shoot a net on the one, and you lure away the one. Oh shit. Oh. Lure it? Yeah. Other one. Idiot. Thanks. This way. Just, um, okay, wait. The first one I'm just going to use to lure this thing away. Yes, follow me. Okay, maybe it aggroes on. Yeah, it's yeah. on this Dego. But like this thing is almost going to wake up, so. Ah, it's green again. Okay. Um. Don't do anything. Wait, oh. I'm just gonna try to destroy the trees. Okay. Holy. Um, just to be safe one more. They walked through these. Yeah, perfect. Um, over here. Oh I shit, it's obstructed! Destroy this, destroy this, destroy this, destroy this. Destroy this! Build, 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 build. Hey, well. One more, one more. Please, place, please, place, please, place. Place, place, place! Perfect! Should we just not shoot him? See? <laughs> Plan works perfect. Towards you, stay. No, don't go towards us. Uh, It's knocked oh, out. Idiot. The next day was used to feed and protect our aloe. The breeding pair was now complete. We just didn't have an AC room. Or how I call it, the breed and slaughter room. So that's pretty nice. Also, yeah. I don't have another cryopod because... Days 26 and 27 were used getting metal and silica, which is surprisingly hard to get in our area. But then, after being demotivated from getting like close to no silica, I opened the drop that changed everything. Are you fuck? This one red drop was all we needed, 
and the metal from this would still have a purpose even when it was used. So I crafted a pox, put the platforms in it, and smiled as I flew back to base to get Perry, our Maywing, to help get everything to base. On day 28 I got the platforms to base and demolished three of them. Oh my god. Oh. And kept one. Remember Metal for Days? This is the real Metal for Days. Anyways, with all the metal I made the AC room. Yes, I used metal to build this. I mean, did you seriously think I would build out of stone like a poor person? I then moved the yellow pair up. Then I started breathing the pair and made electronics, cables, air conditioners and a generator until day 29. Now that base, that base looks good. By that time I had some aloes hatched. They didn't make it. But then, day 30, I got a mutation. 17. It has all the good stats and it has more melee. Ooh. I got a melee mutation. Oh. Let's go! So the next days it grew up, which some YouTubers would show you, but I can just skip time to day 33, where I used them to kill alphas and grind levels. Killed it. I did this all the while to day 34 and 35. Swarks then also got an Allosaurus. I then later opened an orange drop that had a chem bench in it. Ooh! I got a chem bench from a drop! A chem bench! Oh! Narcotics for days, gunpowder for days, let's go! The next day I killed more alphas, but I also found a Giga. I also got crystal that day since we wanted to get a grinder really soon. And then this also happened. Buy it from me. Oh shit. What happened? That was a kind of flora. Did you I almost got, die? I got knocked out. As soon as he got back, we crafted the grinder. And grinded all the useless drop loot and tech items which we couldn't use. The rest of day 36 was spent getting items to grind, and on day 37 I made some improvements to the base. And Swarks found a Managamar level 140. Oh, that's a mana, oh shit. No, 140 mana. So we stopped with everything we were doing and prepared for the tame. The netgun which had been collecting dust finally had a use again, and with the chem bench, gunpowder and narcotics were no problem anymore. So I tamed a horse in record time and got berries. Whenever we wanted to go into the base, we always had to take a very long route. So at the begin of day 38, I started constructing a small bridge. Which took longer than expected. Um, here's pro the next day we were in the Rockwell zone, and we found the Menagamar. I netted it, but there was an annoying spider which I had to lure away. So it got free again, but it couldn't run away. After all, Swarks was chasing it, and I had a net gun. Ouch. Oh, there you are. Hello, mana. Oh, you got there. it. There. Yeah. There's a spino very close to this island. Scorpions. That's one of them Eurypterids. Oh, they can trank you like one. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I got I got one shot trank. Oh, yeah. Okay, Just it's, knock out it's the mana. Knocked, and the mana is knocked out. Okay. I... <gasps> Hello. It's already tame. I think it did the ice breath, so it's like, yeah, now it's tamed. That was oh. very fast. Should we get two? Because I still have like three, um, three more things. Yeah, no, I still have 20 minutes left on the mud. If we can get the breeding pair. If we can find a male, then yes. After that quick discussion, we decided that I could also get a Menagamar. And that was a good decision, because on day 40 we found another level 140. I obviously wanted this, so we decided to tame it. 
Is this the 140? That's attacking? Uh, yeah. That should be the 140. Okay, I was very far away when you did that. Not good. Is this the 140? Yeah, it is. Yes. They're not cut. Yeah, Another oh shit, mana. another mana. Where did that come from? Just try. Okay, that was necessary. Oh, it got out. No worries, I still got one more shot. Oh, it might get knocked out. It's running, it's running. Okay. Mm. I or is it? No, it's pouncing on me. Oh no, it's at the Carnivalopolis. Wait, it destroyed all the Carnivalopolis. Epic. Wait, it got knocked out. The Menagamar got knocked out next to some Shadow Mains. So I cryopotted my Allosaurus and killed them. Shadow Mains. Neutral! Oh. Kill everything! It... I may have also set the coolest one-liner ever. Oh, don't you worry, because I still have a surprise. After that, the Menagamar tamed up relatively fast and we headed back to base. You might have been wondering, what does I legend that Swartz need Managamars and Elasauruses for? Well, we really wanted to tame the new RV variant. So on day 41, we made everything we needed, being the trap, shields, and Swartz got a stamina mutation Elasaurus. We also decided to bring our air conditioners with us to hatch the babies there, and to craft some map brews. Which farming for it was absolutely ridiculous with the horse. Why didn't we tame one earlier? Anyways, the trap was all done, and I crafted the fridge. Day 43, the preparations were done. So we headed to the innards biome, set up the trap, and built the hatching rooms. Day 44. Everything had led to this one team. We could lose everything. I even set my settings to low to increase FPS, and literally forgot to turn it up again until day 80. That was so stupid. Here's what happened. Stuff is already spawning. Stuff is already spawning. This one is stuck. No, invisible. Oh, she's coming out. Level 130! Oh. Bringing it to us. Ah, I see you. Oh, I see you. Uh, um, I think it's in the... This hallway in here. Yeah. Let's kill this snake. I saw a queen in there. Yeah, yeah. that was... That was 130. At least this is the last um, spot where I saw. I got meshed in here and then a reaper attacked me. Oh. There she is! Yeah, that's the 130. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, can it get through there? Yeah, it can. Because, All like, if both time. of us are close, then one of us might. Okay, but, like, it's good. It's still good. The reaper queen is close. She's almost in. Okay. Don't stop now, sweetheart. You're so close. Oh my god, my mana is like gaining tons of torpor action. She's in. And it's trapped! We now used our allies to get her to low HP. Below 2000, and then I got a baby. While getting oh, impregnated. Oh, 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 I'm getting impregnated. Okay, Moment yeah. of truth. And now run. No! Well, ah, rip. Hey, that death didn't count, okay? I got glitched upwards and then fell. No one told me you would get teleported up. Just look, just, just look. How about you leave a comment saying, Okay, legend, that was not your fault. The game is just stupid. 
and not a single hate comment. Okay, moving on to more pressing things. I now got a child in me, then seven minutes would burst out of my chest. So I carefully got my items back, and then I took my Allosaurus to kill its younglings for some XP. And after that I waited in the birthing chamber. Okay, it's time. And... I didn't claim. die to Reaper. Oh, it worked. Okay, okay. Yeah. And... And... After that, Swax also got a child and we then headed back to base. It is now day 46 when we got our Reapers back. And I am already regretting my choice to decrease the graphics. Disgusting! But luckily the Reaper came out with good stats and nice colors. Day 47 until day 49 were spent caring for the Reapers. Killing stuff, feeding them and imprinting just to name a few. But we also moved our crafting area up on the platform. Way more organized and accessible now. I also placed down a turret as furniture. You know what? I should have just titled this video. I spent 100 days in Ark getting as rich as possible. Because it really felt like that now. I mean, a turret as decoration is completely useless. I also then learned the industrial forge and vault engrams. At the start of day 50, yeah, halfway there, both reapers finally became adults, and we did what any logical person would do in this situation, and that's killing even more younglings. Too many of them. What are we going to do? And the innocent wildlife around us. Wait, no. Too hard. <gasps> now, in the very first announcement video, I said a visitor would come to see our world on day 50. Well, here he is. No? It's just the same code. Okay. 7410 There you go, new new oh. IP. Wait, you're joking, right? That's that's not the actual IP. Hey, what's up? Oh. How are you hey. doing? Good, how are you? Perfect, like absolutely amazing. So basically at the beginning of the challenge I asked TDS the tree if I could have permission to make my own 100 days. And he said yes. And then he asked me if it would be fun to join us. And of course I said yes for a day 50 event. Yeah, also what do you want to be called? Like TDS or tree or tree yeah, guy or matter. tree man or tree <laughs> oak or... It doesn't, let's call it doesn't matter. Groot. I don't care. <laughs> let's call him Groot. Groot? Yeah. I yeah, don't you're care. Groot, it doesn't no. matter. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Nah, nah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll call you TDS. I'll call you TDS. We had some fun and TDS got to use a few creatures he had never seen before. We also wanted to get him a baby reaper, so we flew over there just to find out that the queen despawned. Oh, yeah, this exists. Thanks, G-Portal. Nice setting. Then we decided to just fool around in the inert biome when Swarks and TDS meshed. Those cheaters. After that, I taught TDS some tips and tricks for the Menagamar. They regain stamina faster if you're uh, dismounted, so if you go off, they uh, actually regenerate their stamina like super, super fast. As you can see, it's already full. And then if you do jump, jump and then ice breath, you will fly up Whoa. like really high. And then if you jump again, Whoa. You another ice breath, um, even higher. As you can see, like... Is that, is that a bug or is that intended? I don't know. Like, okay. It might be a bug, it might be a tendon. Do this, this, ice breath, double you looking up, then you're floating. See, you're not you're not going down, you're not going up, you're floating. Oh. Oh so okay. So it turns into like kind of a flyer. Yeah. Like. Into a floater flyer, so to say. Okay. And then um if you want to go around the map, just do this, W, and then this. Or if you're really feeling like it, this, this, W. Since you, you got like the, the, the strats down. I use these way too often in well single player. As we headed back to base to log off, TDS and Swarks encountered the first Void Worm. And well, things didn't really end up so well. That's a Void Worm. What? Idea, Where? <laughs> void room at the entrance. What entrance? Oh, okay. I okay, think they got a good idea. 
doing the, Oh, no, uh, I got uh, dismounted. I didn't. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> now you did. Okay. Um, let, just let me get back on. Okay, That's okay. okay. Uh, okay my left was a word TDS afterwards also had a bit of fun with Fluffy. It's probably not introduced in Gen Genesis Part 2, but... Genesis Part 2 actually had one in the background flying. Um, oh, it flies? I analyzed the train. Yeah, yeah. Um, try to get on it and... Um, yeah, he is. This guy. Use this guy once. Amazing. That was a lot of fun, man. I hope to do more of this in the future. Anyways, time to struggle on Hardcore again. TDS stayed until day 53. And on that day, I made the mistake of asking my Discord server for dinosaur names. But we also did something good, and that's that we did the Maywing hunt on day 54. At first, we tried to use horses, which is why we have a new one. But then we figured out that the Reapers are way too overpowered for this mission. The tail poison sometimes makes it impossible for the Maywings to jump away, making tranking super easy. This mission went on to day 55. How fast did that is. Hit! No, what? Oh. oh, I thought I hit you. There we go. Oh, aimbot. Good, good, good. Yes, good. Okay, yeah, no, no. Okay. Okay, that's Net good. Turn. There we go. Still no, it's, it's still flying. It's just, like, going down really slowly. This should be a free shot. Okay, I hit it, I hit it. We then did even more missions. Being the Ferox hunt and then the Velonicer hunt on day 56. Which were both ridiculously easy with the Reapers. We also attempted the Bob Dog hunt. But after figuring out that it was another stupid Trank mission, we left to do more interesting things. Such as an epic fight with an Alpha Rex on day 57. And when I killed it, it gave some pretty nice items. <laughs> Sorry, Swarks, that pickaxe is mine. Okay, so for day 58, I really wanted to tame a Uteranus also known as a giant chicken bucket. So I crafted ammo for my long neck and went out looking for one. Along the way I also looted some drops, which were garbage. Luckily, I found a level 145 chicken bucket in the corner side of the map. So I cleared the area, built the trap and lured her in on foot. As she got knocked out, I killed some nearby enemies, hoping to get prime. I got a good amount and then fed the Uteranus. Then I waited. And waited. And waited some more. And then I waited way too long and got bored and on day 60 I went back. Because we wanted to do the mission, survive the Ark. Let me tell you a bit about this mission. There are 10 waves, each with 50 hostiles. Killing hostiles gives you points. Which you can use to buy creatures. Yeah, I'm buying okay, yeah. 3 aloes. I got the tag. And other weapons. Or just tech rifle. Okay, no, you lose stuff, but I have a tech rifle. As well as bosses. Oh, I am the dragon. No. <laughs> Wait, are you so I can fly. Okay, you, I will definitely need your pop of this. Can you use Some the real apex predators coming at you now. Oh my god. Okay, <sighs> okay. Hey, this mission lasts an infinite amount of time, so there can be multiple rounds. Though we didn't know this at first. We won. We did it. We completed the mission. Easy, bro. That was epic. That was like a very epic mission. Holy. My screen is shaking when you do that. That was a very epic mission. Hmm. Wow. Wait, wait. No. Another wait, wave? Um, wait, what? The points indicate how much loot you get. The mission is over once you die or when you exit after the 10 rounds are complete. I know my opinion doesn't matter, but so far this is my favorite mission in Genesis 2. Oh, I'm burning. I might die. Oh. Big. But that was fun. That was so fun. Mm, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, that death that didn't count. That death didn't count. After completing it, it was day 64. And looking at the loot, it is still pretty bad. Quick notice. The Summer Bash event was here now. Giving dinos new colors and changing some stats. I went back to the UT and waited there for it to tame. Which still took until day 65. Oh, it doesn't look much better. Later on that day we painted our tech armor and some other items. On day 66 we then attempted the Code Red mission. And failed horribly. <gasps> no, can't deploy, mission prevents, don't jump yet. I cancelled this. Ah, uh, but li like, let's, um, sorry that I thought that it would be smart to cry about it. Wait, we have to go to the tech. Oh shit, there's a Arthur Plur. Yeah. I'm no. just running to the proceed button. I'm being chased down, so I'm just going to slowly fight my way through them. Okay. My armor broke. Yeah, I died. Did you seriously? Yeah. Um... But that you died, wow. So instead we decided that we wanted to make an industrial forge. So on day 67 and 68, I was looking through drops to get loot that we could grind up for resources. When I found this. Oh my god, yeah, I just got a chitin uh, BP. After getting that amazing blueprint back to base, I took some more items from one of our boxes and grinded it up. Day 69. <laughs> Nice. After finding an Ascendant Gacha Saddle in a red drop, we both decided that we wanted to tame one for some better gear. So we got Snow Owl Pellets, a Gacha's favorite food, and headed to Rockwell's Garden. After looting some more drops there, I headed to the area in which the Gacha spawned and searched. Like, really, really long. So long in fact that I lost focus and got snatched by a Carnaflora. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. That was actually a very critical situation. Oh. Oh, I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening to my body? I'm a horrifying monster. This all was a huge waste of time. We didn't find a single gacha and stayed there until day 70. Talk about wasting the special number day. Anyways, I decided I wanted to get some mutagen and a Rockwell tentacle plant. So I went into the innards biome to look for the white bulb on the ground. That's the only color that like matches. Yes. Okay, I got a mutagen. No man, now is not the time for shitting. Now is not the time for shitting. Now is not the time for shitting. <laughs> You're probably dead. No, I'm alive. And on day 71, I headed home. Now I know this plant looks sus, but it actually has a really cool feature where if you use an axe to hit it, you will get tons, yes, tons of meat. This meat isn't just spoiled. It's different for each one of them. On this day, the space biome had mutagen rocks. So we both went there and broke rocks until day 72. It's best. Um, you, get and you get like... I got... I get zero when I do sometimes. Oh! oh shit. That scared me. That looks very cool actually. Oh wow. This, 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 this oil. Yeah, that looks like oil. I explored the now different space biome, but I decided to look for more mutagen in the innards biome. I found another one right here. You this are mine one. now. Mission I did last time. But I then made the mistake to still look for more in the acid pits, which almost ended my man Agamar's life. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh shit, is my mana seriously almost dead? Oh. 100 HP! I really felt like Icarus that day. I flew too close to the sun. I wanted more. Which almost resulted in the death of my beloved man Agamor. Moving on from that terrifying near-death experience onto day 73. 
where I decided to build the thumbnail house for day one. No, not that. But the one in the chest. There's another one? Are you built? Can't we don't we need it? I have learned it by the way, so you can have to learn it. I just got an insane dead on saddle. Really? Yeah, like how much armor? 82 armor. 80. Yeah. But hey, better than nothing. Should we tame a dodo as well? Just place it mm. there. Yeah, yeah, that would actually look pretty good. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I searched for a colorful dodo to tame. I later found one which I knocked out, but well... <laughs> it doesn't tame in two seconds. One. Mm. Mad high legend. Two. And... Three. And so I found a nicer one. Which I decided not to kill. So while that was taming, I checked out some drops. You guessed it, they were bad! I then cryopotted the dodo and headed home. Also while I was doing all of that, Swarks tamed the Sabertooth and got loot to grind. And finally, FINALLY, we got the industrial forge. And we reorganized the entire crafting area a bit. And crafted two ascendant kites and chest pieces. Oh, okay. I just need a bit of hide. Okay, we have two of the ends. Let's it. go. The base was finally done on day 74. And to celebrate the fact we now had the forge, we went on a huge metal run in the space biome. Wait. Okay. Don't know. Okay, I'm using a uh, power thing. Okay, power punch is um, much better. I got way more metal that time. Look at that stuffed forge, which also had its uses for the chem bench, being all of this gunpowder. Day 75, only 25 more. I used the gunpowder to first craft simple bullets, and then from that, shotgun bullets, since we would need a lot for the upcoming mini boss missions. But for now, my mind was set on getting a Giga, specifically an R Giga, and for this, we needed very powerful tranks, made from Knydra venom. A few dinos are immune to the Knydra stun, but since Basilosaurs don't spawn, my mission was to get a Tusatusis, but not before getting a Uterana saddle. And attempting Alpha survived the Ark on day 76. Wait, I didn't do anymore. Or, no, I didn't. Oh my god. I wanted to say so. Regular day at the beach, huh? I'm still spawning in. I'm holding my shield up and looking around. I'm getting scared. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. Seriously? Yeah, I died. That was fast. Okay, you're also dead. And they both. <laughs> oh my good god. Wow. They're very strong. Yeah, that was fast. Now a question for you all. How do you tame a Tusa? With a turtle, right? 
Well, you can probably guess the outcome with this background music. Oh god. Well, I personally tame a dolphin. I attempt to tame a few, actually. Sacrifice an Allosaur because you thought it could kill electric eels in an Alpha Megalodon. Almost get killed by one of the eels. Multiple times. Get a jump scare and almost die to an Alpha Mo Mosasaurus. Twice? <gasps> tame an Ichthy and killing it with Cryo Sickness. Then finding a level 142 so that you try for it to grab your Manahakamar and fail, later even losing it due to a glitch and needing your friend to say, Please stop, you fool. Stop and listen to my plan. Yeah, that's day 77 until day 83 summarized. Well, we also did the Parasera Ethereum hunt, and Swarx was so kind to only grind other missions and get an industrial cooker. Whilst I was doing dumb shit. And hey, I got my graphics back. Oh my god! Wow! On day 84, Swarx tamed a few turtles, and I then found our first pump shotgun BP. Okay, if it's nothing. Oh, <gasps> pump BP! <gasps> How good. Uh, 600 durability, 160 damage. It's a journeyman. Oh, oh. That's. Finally! And we did his method, being learning a 2 so up and then letting it grab a turtle. But of course I almost killed one in the process. I actually didn't try to lure it out be before because 2 so's have a feature where they don't go to the surface. Well that's disabled on Genesis 2 it appears. And so, on day 85, we got a 2 so. Wait, there's a second two, so? Oh, a 35. Okay, that's not nice. Come on, two, so. Come on, come on. You can get inside of here, right? Yes, yes. Wow, they're just going up completely. Good. Just stand up here. And Wait, they're up? <laughs> One is up! The good Tuso. Let's go! <gasps> Tuso, okay. are you broken? Please don't be broken. Oh, oh is that a. Oh, it's attacking. Okay. Oh, it's attacking the tower. Oh, that was fast. But I lost the turtle to the other one. I like it. No, the turtle! On that day, Swarx got resources to craft some new and amazing shotguns. And I moved the Uteranus up to the breeding chamber to kill younglings. And I started looking through drops for stuff to grind. On the start of day 86, I uncryopodded the two, so killed a few younglings, and well, I shot Sparks. Ooh. Ah. I go shoot narcotic in your face. <laughs> I was so useless. <laughs> I wasn't yet level 91, which unlocks the Tuso saddle. So I tried leveling by crafting flint in the grinder, which got very boring very fast. So I took my Reaper instead and started to look for an Alpha Rex. After finding one, I used my Reaper C button spin to kill it. I also found an Alpha Raptor that quickly died as well. And on day 87, I crafted the Tuxo Saddle. A whole lot of bullets, and when Swarx got back with his polymer, I crafted four, yes, four of the shotguns. After that, I decided to get Biotoxin with the Tuxo. But, well, just watch this. I'm on a journey. One which shouldn't take too long. Okay, where are the Knidaria? I love two swords, man. I love them. Yeah, they're nice. They're so nice. 
Oh, I found my first batch of Knightras. And an Alpha Megalodon protecting them. Die, Alpha Mag. Die with, along with your friends. How much damage? Oh, does God, does that's a lot of. Why are there so many Megalodons? No! No, this Tuso is going to die! No, this Tuso is dead! No way. What the f- In only 28 seconds, our 4 hours long tame died. And for what? Taming a Giga? Nah, man! We're going to tame all DLC creatures and dark creatures for 200 days! 10,000 likes for that, by the way. Anyways, on the night of that day, Swarks needed some help doing the bulb dog hunt. So we did that until day 88. Why is it not registering? Uh, they're glitching a bit. You with a net gun. It's not ready. Every Q got one. Crafted up off. Nice. Q. Come on, come on, come on. One more, one more. Let's go! Okay, good. Wait, this is a different one. Which one is this? This one, right? Yeah, no, this one. Okay. It's glitched. Let's go! It's glitched. And then the server crashed after we completed it. We then crafted shotgun bullets and map brews, and it's time for the first mini boss mission. Code Red! Code Red is maybe the hardest mini boss mission, and the one with the best theme. Let me give you the rundown of it. At first, you enter a maze like room filled with hostile creatures that you have to cross. Then, you enter a human sized corridor filled with insects, turrets, and propellers, which lead you to a room where you have to kill some robots that we have to fight. Oh, I'm oh, kidding. oh god. Okay, we, um, there we go. There we go. Just fight! Okay, this is easy. Fight both sides, yeah. After raiding for a bit, you follow a walkway and enter a maze with dinosaurs and pink biopods that you have to defend. All the dinos that you saved will help you fight Experiment G. After defending the biopods, you have to enter two rooms with hostile creatures and biopods that get released upon pressing a button at the end of the room. It was good knowing you. I managed to survive, but Swarx was a bit less lucky. Run, just run. Please get back. Please, I'll shoot you. I'll save you. After that, you follow a hallway and fight Experiment G. Yeah, do do both Reapers. Of course. 
jetpacks don't work, so I'll chill on one of mine and the other one I'll send her in. Yeah. Should be easy. And you should be able to do it very fast. Yeah, the, the the dinos we saved are now ours to command. Nice. Oh yeah, I die! Can I can see, see, still see it. Die, experimental Giga. You get Dedosaurus. I'm the real one that shoots poison here. It's killed. This mission took until day 90. And on that day, we also did the next mini boss mission Life Support. Time for me to tell a bit about this mission. Life Support starts off easy and gradually gets harder. First, you enter a room with three color statues green, pink, and blue. When you kill enough creatures, the color pattern gets told by HLNA that you have to correctly memorize and activate in the correct order to continue to the next room. In room 2, you have to fix toxic tanks with an axe to decrease the waiting time and to not die. The Reapers were amazing bodyguards in this room. Room 3 were the two previous rounds combined, where, under the pressure of fixing the tanks, I took a paper to write down the color patterns. Green, Green blue, pink. Blue pink. I, I noted it, I noted it. This method was so incredibly useful we also used it in Choose Your Adventure. Anyways, when you did the color pattern tasks in this room, a giant tech strider and mecha spawned that you need to take down. I took to the sky shooting bullets at it and Swark stayed on this reaper. Which was a mistake, since he got dismounted and slaughtered. Oh, I got... Wait, I got killed? Though I still managed to survive and get the dub. I think he like dodged the um, sword. Yeah, it it's hit me off the. And it's down. <laughs> After completing the mission, I killed even more baby allos, and we prepared for the third mini boss mission, until we both had 300 bullets. But while waiting for charcoal, I had a little funeral on day 91 for the tames we lost on the way. Mm. Checking tribe log. Rest in peace um, too, so I'm sorry for second. Baby Allo. Rest How in peace. How many times did you die? Turtle. You were used to tame the two, so I'm sorry your life was sacrificed. Okay, just we for actually this thing. Oh yeah, the turtle. Rest in peace, sacrificial Allo. You, you could have been so much more useful, but I threw you away to a few knight areas. You couldn't mm -hmm. even fight back. I'm so sorry for you. Rest in peace, <laughs> Ichthy. I'm sorry I just laughed, but I can't remember anything about you. I have to rewatch recording to get sad about you. I don't know what your life meaning was. Oh, the graveyard. Oh my god. Why did so many things die at the hands of me? I killed all of these. You didn't kill a single one. What's I'm it called? Um, I'm ruthless. I'm a bloodthirsty animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just throw the creatures into the fight without thinking about if they die. I'm, I'm so sorry for those creatures that I just kill. Like, it's all my fault. <laughs> and to compensate their deaths, I tamed one of the cutest creatures in the game. An otter. After that, it was back to grinding on day 92, by taking the horse to get berries and crafting more bullets. And then it was time. Time to choose my adventure! Oh yes, this mission. Choose your adventure. As the name suggests, you are on foot for this one. And if you don't have a good shotgun with at least 250 bullets and 100 medbrews, you might as well just cancel it. Because this mission is really hard. 
In the first room you have to collect colored keys and memorize which one you have the most of. I suggest us using the paper tactic though. Then enter the colored portal you have the most keys of. The next phase is the maze, where you either have to step on colored plates or kill the colored enemies. We had to kill. Now the third room was the hardest and most annoying one. Why? Well because of these stupid bats! Ah, annoying bats! Did it give, give you mega rabies? Anyways, we had to stand on color plates and then enter the final room. The macro summoner boss room. The macro summoner spawns two color specific summoners that you can kill by standing on their color plates. After killing the small summoners, the macro summoner opens its shield and you can damage him. This process is repeated three times. And it felt amazing using double shotguns, since you could swap in a pitch to not reload. And I literally felt like Reaper killing these creatures. Die, die, die. In this mini boss mission, Sparks actually survived. One less baddie to worry about. Ha ha ha! After completing that on day 93, we also did Starwing Strike, the last mini boss mission, and completed it on day 94. This mission was one of the most fun ones, because I literally felt as if I were in Star Wars with the Space Dolphin. In this mission you fly through a labyrinth, avoiding tech turrets and gunmen, whilst taking out drones for points. After doing this for a while we entered a space biome, where we had to protect an Astrocetus from tech skiffs, meteorites, drones and later even enemy Astrodelphus. You can get power-ups from killing these that either heal you, boost your damage, or give you grenades that act as nukes. These grenades. Oh, the grenades. After successfully defending our space wheel, the corrupted master controller appeared, that we had to take out by shooting its shield, and then shooting the head. He regains his shields four times, and in each wave he summons harder and more powerful enemies. Once you beat the master controller, the mission is finished. And... Yes. He's not taking us with him. Nice. Ooh, we get to see our score. Health bonus. Wow, what's this? These are the final days to prepare. You see, I have been keeping a secret from all of you. You see, in between days, Swarx was doing all the missions, so he could summon Rockwell, and now he had them all. We only needed to fix our armors, get more shotgun bullets and map brews, and get an army of Allosauruses. So on day 95, I went to the Rockwell's garden, for one last time to get chitin and polymer, which led me to the innards biome. We also needed mutagens, since we only had two of them, and you need six to summon the boss. But I didn't find any and left to look through some drops. And Swarx was getting the aloe army bread. On day 96 we were blessed. The space biome gave us mutagen again. And so Swarx and I took the entire day to get mutagel. Which we could craft into mutagen. Okay. Hey. I sure if it's the... Oh. Yes. Germ! Oh. It's Danish you. Like it's like when I watch YouTube. I have one, two, three. Now I got eight stacks. After going offline on day 97, Swarx actually stayed up until day 98 to increase the Allo stats. Yo, they're all like 260 plus. Yeah, that um, Swarx Allo, that's my Allo, my new Allo. Okay. On day 99, we cryopotted the army and said goodbye to the base. This was it. All the struggles of the last 99 days led to this. One fight, one victory, one loss. Wh why am I making a speech out of this? Of, of course something still went wrong. Just, just look at this. We forgot Mad Bruce. I have Mad Bruce, but do you? No. Should we go back to get that? 
could you maybe do that so that I can pulse um, the stuff? Okay. I'm so sorry, Sparks. Okay, so the wiki says here, both people in fact I have a mission. Yeah, can you believe that? We didn't know that the entire time. But I really didn't want to keep playing on this map. So we used the command to summon the boss. As the cryo sickened aloes woke up, we still had an epic fight with the summoner. And then it was time. Time to fight Rockwell on day 100! But you should still have access. You know, Wait right for me. Don't do anything. I'm being teleported. Just another new one. Just tap any blinky red icon oh my god, this is bad. I'm having like 5 FPS. Oh, yeah. so, that's like you might have to use my recording then. No, like also 50 FPS, like ra around that. Everyone is following blue, and then blue is following you. Yes. Epic dramatic. Okay, boost us! They didn't get a boost from that. Okay. Nice FPS game. With this allo got... Wait, I got... I didn't get in. What? Okay, I got teleported. Wait, go on. Let me just get on the allo. Put them on neutral. Oh, they're just attacking everything. Just get onto something. Did you get onto anything? I got on the chicken. Okay. Super tentacle skill. What is a super tentacle? I think that super tentacles is uh, purple. purple. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> this is going great. This fight was much harder than we both thought. Not only did we both almost get killed multiple times. You're just targeting me. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Don't die. Please, kill, kill the small guys. Okay. Use your map boost. Just don't die, please. Big tentacles. With me only having 10 HP at a certain point. And you know, since I'm the editor, here's a little bit of my anxiety. Oh shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! I need help! Yeah, Everything is attacking me! Just jump away, jump away, the army is here. It's because half the army is following me. Oh, one still at you. Please! Thank you. Okay, I, sh I should get it, my exomate. This boss fight is maybe the laggiest boss in the entire game, making this fight even harder. If you don't know how this mission goes, well, neither did we. But in a few rounds, you have to defeat giant tentacles and use the exomax given to beam down Rockwell nodes. Then Rockwell opens up and you can damage the big man. You really couldn't just cooperate Ooh. and die. Seriously? No, 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 not you. I can't no. hear anything. It's you insist on surviving and making a nuisance of I have NPC volume up, but I can't hear anything. All of your tiresome meddling has come to nothing. 
Yeah, I have not seen one. Wait. Wait. It's bursting out. Shit, this on um, purpose thing. I don't want to be in it. Yeah, I'm doing like you. Just let the let the aloes do the <laughs> let job. Let the aloes do everything. Maybe yeah, shotgun stand. them a bit. Oh shit, yellow stuff. I'm going for them right now. Yeah, dismounted. Nope, that didn't do anything at all. Oh god. Yellow stuff. Where is Gordon's chicken bag? We really need it. He's attacking. Like, we would need it for the buff. We just... Wait, oh shit, no. Oh no, this is bad. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Okay, just attack, attack. Oh shit, my torpor is going up. Fast. Oh shit. That does a good chunk of damage. Why I have a it's almost dead. It's I it's in so sync with the music. Okay. Sacrifice some aloes. Okay, we we can and do it. And good. Doodle. Then after you bring him down, just put your inventory inside a dinosaur. Else it gets taken away. And then enjoy the view. too deeply into the ship's primary systems. They're failing along with him. There's only one way to ensure this all ends here. Sorry, mate. I can't come with. And I'm almost out of time to back myself up. You'll do just fine on your own out there. You're a survivor. this nightmare you did this to me for wanting the same power she squandered well I've survived worse 
I promise you, I will find a way out of this. I will. No, you won't. It's much too late for that. It's so bright. Helena? I'm afraid. Shh. She knew. Survivor, this is my last message to you to be relayed in the event of my deactivation. I was only an artificial construct when we first met, just a shadow of someone who lived a long time ago. But in our time together, I got to become something new, someone new, not Helena. HLNA. Thank you for that. I wish I could find the words to tell you how much it meant to me. <sighs> Human language is so imprecise. But I need you to do something else now. Find your own path. Your own destiny. Build a new world here. A better world. And who knows? Maybe two lost souls can still meet again somewhere. Out among the stars. Goodbye, my friend. After those cinematics we got back to base on day 102 and we shot the thumbnail shots for both day 1 and 100. And after Swarks rudely shot me in the head we had a bit of PvP. Okay. How Don't. did Don't do it. Oh shit! I swear I will shoot you with my shotgun. You still cannot bully me? You are too bad. I had mode activated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my aim is still perfect. Anyways, those were 100 days of Genesis Part 2. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Swarks. And yeah, 200 days for 10,000 likes. Goodbye. For now. Something tells me that this is the end.